Quiz time! Let's do a little registry review practice questions on breast ultrasound annotation. Question one. A mass is in the upper inner quadrant of the right breast. Which clock position best fits its location? A is one o'clock, B is seven o'clock, C, 11 o'clock, or D, five o'clock? And the answer is A, one o'clock. For the quadrants method of breast ultrasound annotation, the breast is split into four equal segments the upper outer quadrant, the upper inner quadrant, the lower outer quadrant, and the lower inner quadrant. In the right breast, one o'clock position is in the upper inner quadrant. Question two, which transducer orientation is 90 degrees orthogonal to the plane that courses along the path of the lactiferous ducts? A, anti-radial, B, sagittal, C, radial, or D, transverse? And the answer is A, antiradial, or ARAD for short. Antiradial is 90 degrees orthogonal to the radial plane, and the radial plane in breast imaging follows the path of the lactiferous ducts. Question three, which quadrant corresponds to the inferior lateral portion of the left breast? A, upper inner quadrant, B, lower outer quadrant, C, upper outer quadrant, or D, lower inner quadrant? And the answer is B, lower outer quadrant. In the left breast, the inferior lateral portion of the breast corresponds to the lower outer quadrant of the breast. Question four, a method of annotation in breast ultrasound that delineates the distance from the nipple of a mass is A, ABC labeling, B, one, two, three labeling, C, clock method, or D, quadrants. And the answer is B, one, two, three labeling. For one, two, three labeling method, concentric circles are drawn around the breast and the breast is divided into three sections. Section one is close to the nipple, section three is far away from the nipple, and section two is halfway between the nipple and the periphery of the breast. The one, two, three labeling method is used as a general way to describe the distance of a mass from the nipple. Question five, nine o'clock in the left breast is in the blank portion of the breast, while nine o'clock in the right breast is in the blank section of the breast. A, inferior and superior, B, lateral and medial, C, superior and inferior, or D, medial and lateral. And the answer is D, medial and lateral. Note, in the right breast, nine o'clock is in the lateral position of the breast, while in the left breast, nine o'clock is in the medial section of the breast. Question six, a mass is located in the lower inner quadrant of the left breast. Which clock position corresponds to its location? A, 9.30, B, five o'clock, C, 6.30, or D, two o'clock? And the answer is C, 6.30. In the left breast, six o'clock is at the inferior portion of the breast, and 6.30 position is just slightly medial to that in the lower inner quadrant of the left breast. Question seven. A linear transducer is held in a radial plane next to the nipple and used to measure how far a mass is located from the nipple for this method of breast annotation. A, clock method. B, one, two, three labeling. C, centimeters from nipple. Or D, ABC labeling. And the answer is C, centimeters from nipple. For this method of breast ultrasound annotation, a linear transducer is used as a ruler. Standard linear transducers are five centimeters across lengthwise on the top of the transducer. So this is used as a gauge to measure how far away masses are from the nipple. The transducer is placed next to the nipple in a radial plane and one centimeter increments are used 
to measure the distance of the mass from the nipple. This is delineated as number of centimeters from nipple with CMFN standing for centimeters from nipple. Question eight, a mass is located at the 730 position in the right breast. Which quadrant is it in? A, upper inner quadrant, B, lower outer quadrant, C, upper outer quadrant, or D, lower inner quadrant? And the answer is B, lower outer quadrant. In the right breast, the lower outer quadrant consists of clock positions between six o'clock and nine o'clock, with 7.30 being right in that segment. Question nine, the most specific method of annotating the distance from the nipple of a mass on a breast ultrasound is A, clock method, B, one, two, three, labeling, C, centimeters from nipple, or D, ABC labeling. And the answer is C, centimeters from nipple. Centimeters from nipple is the most accurate method we have of measuring distance from the nipple. It's also very reproducible between breast centers, which makes follow-ups more standardized. It's largely replaced the one, two, three labeling method, which has less accuracy. Question 10, a mass is located in the inferior lateral portion of the left breast. Which quadrant is it in? A, upper inner quadrant, B, lower outer quadrant, C, upper outer quadrant, or D, lower inner quadrant? And the answer is B, lower outer quadrant. In the left breast, the inferior and lateral sections triangulate to the lower outer quadrant of the breast. Question 11, which transducer plane takes horizontal slices through the breast? A, transverse, B, radial, C, sagittal, or D, anti-radial? And the answer is A, transverse. The transverse plane I like to think of as horizon or horizontal. The horizon is flat side to side, and this is our horizontal flat side to side plane in the body. Question 12, a mass is located in the upper inner quadrant of the left breast. What is its corresponding clock position? A, four o'clock, B, one o'clock, C, 10 o'clock, or D, eight o'clock? And the answer is C, 10 o'clock. In the left breast, the upper inner quadrant has clock positions ranging from nine o'clock to 12 o'clock, with 10 o'clock being sandwiched right in that segment of the breast. Question 13, the clock method of breast ultrasound annotation uses each of the following except A, quarter hours, B, half hours, C, whole hours, or D, center of clock face at the nipple. And the answer is A, quarter hours. The clock method of breast ultrasound annotation uses whole hours and half hours with the center of the clock face positioned at the nipple. Quarter hours are not used for this type of annotation. Question 14, the lower inner quadrant of the right breast is in which region of the breast? A, superior medial, B, inferior lateral, C, inferior medial, or D, superior lateral? And the answer is C, inferior medial. In the right breast, the inferior medial segment triangulates to the lower inner quadrant and has clock positions from three o'clock to six o'clock. Question 15, a mass is at the 930 position in the left breast. Which quadrant is it in? A, upper inner quadrant, B, upper outer quadrant, C, lower inner quadrant, or D, lower outer quadrant? And the answer is A, upper inner quadrant. In the left breast, the upper inner quadrant has clock positions between nine o'clock and 12 o'clock, and it's the superior medial section of the breast. The 930 position is within this segment of the breast. Question 16, breast pathology shape can be misrepresented when using which two transducer orientations in the breast? A, radial and anti-radial, 
B, transverse and radial, C, sagittal and transverse, or D, anti-radial and sagittal? And the answer is C, sagittal and transverse. Most pathology in the breast is ductal in nature. The radial imaging plane follows the course of the milk ducts in the breast. And the anti-radial plane is 90 degrees orthogonal to this. So the radial and the anti-radial planes represent the true shape of a mass and can display irregular margins when using sagittal and transverse in the breast, pathology shape can be misrepresented, displaying a more benign appearance. Mass shape is very important to mass characterization in breast ultrasound, so it's crucial to use radial and anti-radial planes for accurate mass representation. Question 17. A mass is in the upper outer quadrant of the left breast. Which region of the breast is it located in? A, inferior lateral, B, superior medial, C, inferior medial, or D, superior lateral? And the answer is D, superior lateral. The upper outer quadrant of the left breast contains the clock positions ranging from 12 o'clock to three o'clock and is triangulated to the upper outer quadrant by combining superior and lateral locations in the left breast. Question 18, a method of breast ultrasound annotation that is outdated and that has largely been replaced by newer techniques is a. Centimeters from nipple B. Radial and anti-radial C. Clock method or D. ABC and 123 labeling And the answer is D. ABC and 123 labeling methods. It's important to learn these methods since they are occasionally found in practice and it's important to know what a 1, 2, or 3 or ABC on an image represents. However, newer techniques such as centimeters from nipple are more reproducible and have largely replaced the outdated techniques of ABC and 123 labeling. Question 19. A mass is located Located in the upper outer quadrant of the left breast. Which clock location represents its location? A, 4 o'clock, B, 1 o'clock, C, 8 o'clock, or D, 11 o'clock? And the answer is B, 1 o'clock. The upper outer quadrant of the left breast contains clock positions from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock, and 1 o'clock is within this zone. Question 20. A method of annotation in breast ultrasound that delineates the depth of an area in the breast is A, centimeters from nipple, B, 1, 2, 3 labeling, C, clock method, or D, ABC labeling. And the answer is D, ABC labeling method. The ABC method of labeling splits the breast into three equal depths. A represents superficial depth in the breast tissue, B represents mid-depth in the breast tissue, and C represents deep depth in the breast tissue. Question 21. A mass is located in the inferior lateral region of the right breast. Which clock position is it at? A, 330. B, 12.30, C, 7.30, or D, 9.30? And the answer is C, 7.30. The inferior lateral section of the right breast triangulates to the lower outer quadrant and represents clock positions from 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock. Question 22. Which transducer plane takes vertical sections through the breast? A, radial, B, sagittal, C, anti-radial, or D, transverse? And the answer is B, sagittal. The sagittal plane takes vertical sections through the breast or through the body on ultrasound. It's also known as the longitudinal scanning plane. Question 23. A mass is located in the upper outer quadrant of the right breast. Which clock position represents its location? A, 11.30, B, 7 o'clock, C, 2 o'clock, or D, 4.30? 
And the answer is A, 1130. The upper outer quadrant of the right breast is the superior lateral section of the right breast and has clock positions ranging from nine o'clock to 12 o'clock. Question 24. What is used as a measuring guide for the centimeters from nipple breast ultrasound annotation method? And the answer is a linear ultrasound transducer. The linear transducer is placed next to the nipple in a radial plane and used as a measuring guide for the centimeters from nipple breast ultrasound annotation method. The distance of a mass from the nipple is measured in one centimeter increments with the average linear transducer measuring five centimeters across the top of the transducer. Question 25. The transducer orientation, which follows the course of the milk ducts, where most breast pathology originates is A, sagittal, B, antiradial, C, transverse, or D, radial. And the answer is D, radial. The radial imaging plane follows along the path of the milk ducts and provides the most accurate representation of mass shape on ultrasound because most pathology in the breast is ductile in nature. Interested in more ultrasound videos like this one? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned on Wednesdays for more videos.